In this video, I'll be explaining the reasons why your dogs behave the way they do. Talking about why they sleep so much, what they are saying when they bark, how fast they can run, how high they can jump, how well they can see, how good is their hearing ability, why do they get so excited when they see us, and even why are there so many different species of dogs. Now, the amount of time a dog spends sleeping depends on many factors. We begin to look at his age, size, breed, health, and even activity level. Now, all dogs require significantly more sleep than human, which has to do with the amount of rapid eye movement sleep that the dogs get. While humans spend about 25% of their sleep in the rapid eye movement circle, which is the deepest and most restful stage of the sleep. Now, only about 10% of a doggy nap is spent in the rapid eye movement sleep. Now, this means that they need to sleep longer to make up for the imbalance. Although dogs bark for a variety of reasons, biologists formally thought that their barking didn't change depending on the message. But more recently, research into the biology of dogs have discovered that dogs have elasticity in their vocal cords, now giving them the ability to slightly alter the sound of their barks to convey different meanings. Spectrographic images of dog barks have shown difference in timing, pitch, and amplitude, all of which vary according to context. While it's not yet clear to researchers what these different barks and grows mean, Experiments have shown that dogs react differently to other dogs' vocalization, depending on the context. Now, for example, scientists recorded a dog growling over food and a dog growling at a stranger. Now, when they played back the food grow while offering another dog a treat, the dogs were more hesitant to accept it than when they heard the stranger grow. Other experiments showed that dogs and people are more likely to react to a dog's stranger back than to other kinds of barking. Now, more dog science research is needed to decode every wolf and groom. Now, but it's becoming clear, right, that there is a more complex communication element to a dog's barking. They are not just doing it for fun. Now, how fast dogs can run depends largely on the individual dog. Running speed is largely dependent on size, body shape and leg length as well as the age health and physical condition now the greyhound which is the fastest dog breed averages about 45 miles per hour as the world's fastest dog with the fastest ever member of this breed clocking at 50.5 miles per hour now while streamlined greyhounds and other fast breeds such as whippets and afghan hounds appear to have been designed for speed all dogs have the ability to make their bodies more aerodynamic when they run either by flattening their ears to decrease wind resistance or by pushing them back to avoid getting tripped up. The way dogs move their legs also changes when they run. Now, a walking dog moves their right legs and left legs together, while a running dog leap with their front legs and back legs paired, allowing for more speed. For some dogs, the ability to hop up on a couch is not amazing feat. Why, for wonder, stairs may be required to snuggle with you in your favorite chair. And still for other dogs, containing them in first yard can be a challenge because of their jumping ability. Now, similar to dogs' running ability, a dog's jumping ability is dependent largely on their size, strength, age, health, and even body condition. It has been reported that the highest jumping dog can clear 6 feet. But what might be more impressive are the small breeds that can jump multiple times their body height. Another component of dogs jumping is how far they can leap. Common in dog diving competition, dogs are trained to run and leap in water to see how far they can make it. Some achieving leaps are near 30 feet according to reports. Now, dogs' eyes are incredible and can see things that you and I can't see. However, a dog's vision isn't necessarily better than that of a human. According to veterinary vision, a dog's eyes are positioned on the side of his head, which results in greater peripheral vision. However, his visual acuity, that is the ability to focus on objects, is about 20-40% to 40 of that of a human. 
Now, this means that what a dog can distinguish as an object at 20 feet, a human with 20-20 vision, that is, a human who have a normal or average vision, could distinguish that at 90 feet. For this reason, dogs' reliance on their other senses is a greater deal to help them navigate the world. A dog's hearing is no myth. In fact, it's an impressive biological advantage that has helped them for thousands of years. Now, according to Petfo, a dog can hear a sound up to four times further away than humans. Dogs have the ability to use their ears independently and change the direction for which they are listening, now, which helps them zero in on the sound they are listening for. This is done because they have 18 muscles in their ears. This is three times as many in the human ear. Dogs also have the ability to hear different frequencies, which is why things like dog whistles can affect them so much, even when you don't hear anything. Lastly, dogs also have the ability to practice selective hearing, similar to humans. So when you are calling your dog in from the house and it seems like they are ignoring you, there is a good chance that they are really ignoring you. When you come back at the end of a long day or even after an hour or two, chances are your dog is over the moon with happiness and excitement. Every single time, dogs over the top response to being reunited with their owner is one of the things we love so much about them. But why do they get so excited? Now, dogs' behavioral researchers found that the scent of a familiar human trigger the reward centers of the brain of this dog in a way that no other scent accomplished. Now suggesting not only that dogs know the difference between humans and other dogs, but that dogs genuinely love spending time with their owners. Now another study used a cognitive experiment designed for children seeing their mothers after an absence to measure the response of dogs reuniting with their owners. And then they found out that the response is actually very similar. It is important to remember that dogs are social animals that don't like to be left alone. To them, our return signals relief from loneliness. So when you add all that up, you will not see reasons why your dogs can contain the excitement when they see you come back after a very long day. Dogs are one of the most diverse species on the planet. Britain's The Kennel Club recognizes a whooping 280 distinct dog breeds, and that doesn't even count all the regional variations, designer crossbreeds, mixed breeds, and happy mystery moods out there. With all their diversity in color, shape, size, and even temperament, scientists believe that dogs started diverging genetically from wolves around 27,000 years ago. Selective dog breeding exploded during the 19th century as people began creating different breeds for aesthetic reasons and even novelty's sake, rather than because certain traits were more useful for hunting or herding. As this practice continues today, the number of dog breeds and the diversity among the species continues to increase. Now, there is no doubt that dogs are special, right? So also is the bond we share with them. As the field of dog science continues to grow, scientists are increasingly discovering more about our lovely companions so but there is this one thing that we don't need to rely on science to tell us right and that's how awesome our dogs are i mean each and every one of them so yes i'm glad you watched this video to this point so do well to drop a comment based on you know what you've understood in this video or even a question and don't forget to subscribe to this channel it will mean a lot and it will help this channel to grow see you when i upload my videos bye for now